poverty, homelessness, and crime are interconnected issues that have plagued the United States for decades. In 2021, 11.6% of Americans lived in poverty, meaning that over 37 million people were struggling to make ends meet. Over 1 million people are homeless, and according to the FBI, there were over 1.6 million violent crimes reported in the United States in 2022. There were also over 10 million property crimes reported. 10. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Homelessness, crime, and poverty are complex and interconnected issues that have plagued Philadelphia for decades. Homelessness is a persistent and growing problem in Philadelphia. According to the 2022 point in time count, there were an estimated 11,233 homeless individuals in Philadelphia on a single night. This represents a 12% increase from 2021. Crime is also a major problem in Philadelphia. In 2021, there were 562 homicides in Philadelphia, a rate of 21.5 homicides per 100,000 residents. This is significantly higher than the national homicide rate of 6.9 per 100,000 residents. Other violent crimes, such as aggravated assault, robbery, and rape, are also common in Philadelphia. In 2021, there were 5,986 aggravated assaults, 2,142 robberies, and 815 rapes reported in the city. Poverty is a widespread problem in Philadelphia. The city's poverty rate is 25%, which is higher than the national average. Poverty is particularly high in children with nearly 40% of children living in poverty. 9. Baltimore, Maryland. Poverty is a major problem in Baltimore. 26.2% of Baltimore residents live below the poverty line. This means that they are unable to afford basic necessities, such as food, housing, and clothing. Crime is also a serious problem in Baltimore. According to the FBI, Baltimore's violent crime rate in 2020 was 1,550.2 per 100,000 residents, which is more than double the national rate of 739.9 per 100,000 residents. The city's property crime rate was 3,427.6 per 100,000 residents, which is slightly lower than the national rate of 3,637.3 per 100,000 residents. Homelessness is a persistent problem in Baltimore. According to the Baltimore City Homeless Services Program, there were an estimated 8,862 people experiencing homelessness on a single night in January 2022. 8. Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland has one of the highest poverty rates in the United States. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, 31.4% of Cleveland residents live below the poverty line. This means that they have an income that falls below the federal poverty threshold which is set at $27,750 for a family of four. The poverty rate is particularly high among children. In 2022, 47.2% .2 of Cleveland children under the age of 18 lived in poverty. This is significantly higher than the national child poverty rate of 18.5%. Homelessness is another serious problem in Cleveland. According to the 2023 homeless count, there were 9,860 homeless people in Cuyahoga County which includes Cleveland. This is a 14% increase from the previous year. Cleveland also has a high crime rate. According to the FBI's Uniform Crime Reporting Program, the violent crime rate in Cleveland was 17.39 per 1,000 residents in 2022. This is significantly higher than the national violent crime rate of 4.33 per 1,000 residents. 7. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia, a vibrant metropolis in the southeastern United States, faces complex challenges related to poverty, homelessness, and crime. Atlanta's poverty rate stands at 23.6%, significantly higher than the national average of 11.6%. This disparity is particularly acute among black and Hispanic residents, who face disproportionately high rates of poverty. Homelessness is a persistent issue in Atlanta with an estimated 14,687 individuals experiencing homelessness on a given night. The crime rate in Atlanta is higher than the national average. There were 159 homicides in Atlanta in 22022, which is a rate of 15.2 per 100,000 people. This is higher than the national homicide rate of 6.3 per 100,000 people. According to the Atlanta Police Department, the overall crime rate in the city decreased by 1% in 2022 compared to 2021. However, 
property crime increased by 1%, while violent crime decreased by 9%. 6. Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas is a city of extremes. It is home to some of the wealthiest people in the world. But it also has a significant population of people living in poverty. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, 14.6% of Las Vegas residents live below the poverty line. This means that they are unable to afford basic necessities such as food, shelter, and clothing. Las Vegas has a large homeless population. There were 18,524 homeless people in Las Vegas in 2022. This is a 12% increase from the 2nd of January 2021. Las Vegas has a relatively high crime rate. According to the FBI, the violent crime rate in Las Vegas was 1,159.8 per 100,000 population in 2022. This is higher than the national average of 398.7 per 100,000 population. The property crime rate in Las Vegas was also high in 2022, at 3,443.9 per 100,000 population. This is also higher than the national average of 2,307.2 per 100,000 population. 5. Seattle, Washington. Seattle is a major city in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States. Poverty is a significant problem in Seattle. According to the 2020 U.S. Census, 10.7% of Seattle residents live below the poverty line. This is higher than the national poverty rate of 11.6%. Poverty can have a devastating impact on people's lives, leading to food insecurity, homelessness, and poor health outcomes. Seattle is also facing a homelessness crisis. According to the 2020 point in time count, there were 21,751 homeless people in Seattle. This is a 30.2% increase since 2010. Homelessness is a complex problem with many causes, including lack of affordable housing, mental health issues, and substance abuse. Crime rates in Seattle have been on the rise in recent years. According to the Seattle Police Department, there were 2,088 property crimes per 1,000 residents in 2022. This is higher than the national property crime rate of 2,301 per 1,000 residents. The violent crime rate in Seattle is also higher than the national average. According to the Seattle Police Department, there were 6.8 violent crimes per 1,000 residents in 2022. This is higher than the national violent crime rate of 4.9 per 1,000 residents. 4. Honolulu, Hawaii. The poverty rate in Honolulu is higher than the national average. In 2021, 12.1% of Honolulu residents lived below the poverty line. This means that they had an income that was less than three times the federal poverty threshold. The poverty rate is even higher for some groups, such as native Hawaiians and children. There are a number of factors that contribute to poverty in Honolulu. One factor is the high cost of living. Honolulu is one of the most expensive cities in the United States. The median home price in Honolulu is over $1 million, and the median rent for a one-bedroom apartment is over $2,000 per month. Homelessness is a serious problem in Honolulu. In 2022, there were an estimated 9,800 homeless people on Oahu, the island that Honolulu is located on. This is an increase from the 3,200 homeless people who were counted in 2017. There are a number of factors that contribute to homelessness in Honolulu. One factor is the high cost of living, as mentioned. 3. San Francisco, California. Poverty is a significant issue in San Francisco, with an estimated 11.3% of the city's population living below the poverty line. This economic hardship often leads to homelessness, a stark reality for thousands of San Franciscans. The city's homeless population numbered over 25,000 individuals, many of whom live in encampments or seek shelter in public spaces. Homelessness and poverty are often linked to an increased risk of crime. Individuals experiencing homelessness may engage in criminal activity out of desperation for survival, such as petty theft or drug sales. Additionally, the visible presence of homelessness can contribute to a sense of disorder and insecurity, which may lead to higher crime rates in certain areas. Property crime is the most common type of crime in San Francisco, accounting for over 80% of all reported crimes. Shoplifting is also a major problem with over $500 million worth of goods stolen from San Francisco stores each year. 
Violent crime in San Francisco has increased in recent years with a 14% increase in homicides from 2021 to 2022. 2. New York City, New York. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, 13.5% of New Yorkers live below the poverty line. This is higher than the national poverty rate of 10.5%. Poverty is particularly high in some neighborhoods, such as the Bronx and East Harlem. Homelessness is a major problem in New York City. On any given night, there are over 98,000 homeless people in the city. This includes over 30,000 children. In 2022, there were 126,537 major crimes reported in New York City, which is a 12.2% increase from 2021. However, this is still significantly lower than the crime rate in the early 1990s, when there were over 2 million major crimes reported per year. 1. Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles is one of the most expensive cities in the United States. The median home price in the city is over $600,000, and the median rent for a one-bedroom apartment is over $2,000 per month. This makes it difficult for many people to afford to live in the city, and contributes to the high poverty rate. In 2021, 16.9% of Los Angelinos were living below the poverty line. Los Angeles has the largest homeless population in the United States. On any given night, there are over 126,000 people experiencing homelessness in Los Angeles County. This is due to a number of factors, including the high cost of living, a lack of affordable housing, and a lack of access to mental health and substance abuse treatment. Los Angeles has a crime rate of 32 per 1,000 residents, which is significantly higher than the national average of 23.8 per 1,000 residents. This means that residents of Los Angeles are more likely to be victims of crime than residents of the United States as a whole. 